months I will buy uh, this something similar for my own collection. The most expensive piece on this table, so it will be kind of surprise for him. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. Uh, this is my new unpacking video that I filmed uh, November 11th. And uh, today is a veteran day and also this day uh, World War I and so uh, this is a great day to show some World War I uh, period items, war souvenirs like but butchers, uh, bayonets, 9805, 9802 and I will show it to you a little bit later but uh, now I want to unpack, I want to open few uh, parcels, few packages from uh, Europe and from uh, England also. So it will be like two packages from um, Europe and one parcel from England. Let's start with this one and so now it's empty and let's see what inside. Uh, here we can see one metal box and uh, this is box uh, from England with very interesting items. We can open the lid, it <laughs> removed easily. This is really nice set with uh, British uh, headgear, naval headgear and uh, two officers' epaulets. And uh, it came with original box um, from outside of the box. It's uh, not that great condition, but anyway, we can see here uh, original signs and uh, original uh, emblems and uh, marks. So I do like this stuff, let's open it and see what's inside. If we open this box, we can do like that. And I will show it to you. Really nice condition in original patina and uh, with really nice button with burnishing on it, uh, with a crown and anchor. And I do really like it. And inside we can see here uh, the price tag, I guess, and also we can see here uh, maker mark. So it's really nice officer's hat, and it's like kind of um, museum piece. So we can place it here, and this one I will remove. Wow! What was it? In set? I don't think so. So guys, I am excited because uh, this is really surprise for me and surprise for my customer because uh, it was complete set with two epaulets and with a hat and there was no picture of uh, this item here. No, let me show it to you. Uh, here we can see special um, space, special small box inside the big box and here we can see this item this is officer's belt with hanger <laughs> yeah uh, this is officer belt with hanger and with one extra belt. This belt is a little bit, little bit early, uh, early year, because this is a Victorian crown for uh, end of 19th century. Uh, this belt buckle is already for first World War uh, period. It looks like British officer who purchased uh, this set and who worn it. Mm, he had uh, two buckles. First buckle he worn uh, before 20th century in Victorian period and then uh, he changed the buckle uh, because uh, crown uh, has been changed after the Queen. So that's very nice and actually this belt with buckle and with second buckle cost more uh, than uh, my client paid for all this set. Because only this item uh, cost around 400-500 bucks uh, and he paid around this price for 
whole uh, this set. I don't want to charge him extra because it was, uh, honestly, it was um, the part of this set, but he didn't see pictures of it. So it will be kind of surprise for him. So I will uh, say him hello and wave him uh, because uh, he doesn't know it and I will keep it in secret until uh, he receive uh, this complete set. So I am excited for him. I am excited because I found it uh, in a special hidden section of this uh, old box. That's cool. I, what my opinion? Text me comment if you uh, agree or maybe not. So uh, the second box will be let's open this one. I can't stop watching this complete because uh, this is really museum uh, display, really museum piece, museum lot. Uh, so I I like it. I'd like it once. I will buy uh, this something similar for my own collection. But anyway, we will open second box and uh, it should be full of stuff. Uh, actually, I receive it in uh, Agaya during the Wilmington military antiques um, show. So. So really nice items we can see here and I will unpack it and finally show you uh, how it looks like. Uh, this is uh, original German bayonet and this item was really cheap. This is uh, K98 with um, redone tip of the blade. Look at that. Uh, this is a not correct tip of blade uh, because somebody probably broke it or something like that and they just redone it um, in like medium quality. But anyway, this one is uh, still original bayonet, uh, steam symbol of uh, German soldier uh, for Third Reich. It costed um, something like 80 bucks or something like that. So that is why I bought it. Sometimes people ask me to find something cheap for them. And um, if I see something original, but with uh, damage or defect and uh, uh, when it like with decent price, I just buy it for just in case, because people also uh, very often ask me to find something. Um, let's open second one. It should be also bayonet. And this one is uh, in like opposite condition. This is uh, K98 in uh, really nice condition in original blue in uh, 1941 uh, year produced F and J. Uh, we can see here and uh, very low and matching numbers 52X. Uh, we can see here on the stamp and uh, also original blue in uh, here on the handle and on the scabbard also. This one has not been sharped and uh, we also can see here original blue in here on the blade. Uh, I really like it and this one will be expensive because everybody wants um, bayonet in this condition and I will add original frog for this bayonet. I will show it to you uh, later. Third one we can see here this is original bayonet also but this one with frog uh, I can I can see it through the bubbles uh, this one is in decent condition uh, this one has been sharped we can see it clearly uh, and uh, also tip of the um, blade has been redone but not that bad like, like uh, on first one and uh, here we also can see uh, matching numbers. So this is cheap one with matching numbers, with original frog, uh, in decent condition, with decent price. So uh, I also do like uh, this one just because of price was decent and uh, I can offer it for some customer uh, items not in mint condition. Uh, three frogs we can see here. This is the first one. Second one and third one. 
all three frogs are in nice condition. We can see some uh, traces of stamp. For example, this one uh, with maker mark and dated 1942. And we can see here steel uh, rivets, steel made rivets. This one also with steel rivets and with RB uh, number, I guess. Ah, no, no, no. It's also uh, 1942. We can see here uh, on this uh, side and this is early one we can see it from the distance because of rivets are aluminum and uh, this material um, used before 1941 uh, sometimes they use it later but usually uh, they used aluminum um, rivets for uh, items produced before 1931 so we do not see here any stems but i will double check anyway three original uh, frogs it's really nice because uh, now it's kind of problem to find original frog with decent price because everybody wants like 100 150 200 for uh, just frog in this condition so i found it uh, a bit cheaper here we can see early one hitler youth uh, knife. Uh, we can see here really nice uh, moto, Blutund era. It's like uh, blood and honor. And um, here we can see original uh, Burker uh, maker mark stamp uh, on the back uh, side. So we do not see here Ricasse because of its uh, first model, its first pattern of uh, this knife. And uh, I'm happy to find it. And actually grip is nice. Uh, we can see here uh, nickel plated uh, steel grip with um, nickel silver uh, rivets. So this one produced probably in 1934, something like that, maybe 1935. Uh, after that, they uh, added Ricasa on the uh, blade and then they um, uh, stopped to etch uh, motos uh, on the front side and they uh, added RZM marks on the back side. So I do like this one. That's nice. More items we can see here. Two canteens. This is late war period uh, canteen in really nice condition, in near mint condition. I don't want to play with leather uh, so we can open this uh, this belt, uh, we can open it uh, this way. So, uh, nice, nice um, cup because we can see here uh, date 1944. And pay attention, not all of them dated. Uh, this is quite rare also. And uh, I like it because it dated also for late period 1944. So, this is really cool. Let's open and check the stamp stamps on the bottle. So it's MN44. It means this uh, canteen produced in this year and probably sometimes here and they also added stamps but not here. Not this time. So anyway, uh, this is original one with original um, with original lead with mint condition uh, cover so I do like it and I'm happy to find it. I will show you my collection, my small collection of canteens. Uh, here in the United States I I bought some in really nice condition. It was like medical one, it was late one, early one, um, with like coconut or Africa core one and I will show it to you uh, later if you want. But here we can see second one and this one is bigger. And this is Geber's Jäger, canteen with uh, canvas straps. And uh, let's open it also, because uh, I do like this stuff. And uh, Geber's Jäger canteens, uh, not really rare, but it's scarce. And we can see this um, cup, it dated um, by 1943. That's really nice. Painted uh, in unusual green color, and let's open the cover. It's also dated uh, 1943. So this one is really nice, and look at that. There is a difference between uh, regular uh, canteen and uh, Gebersjäger canteen. Gebersjäger canteen is bigger, and uh, also here on 
the uh, cover on the back side we can see extra um, extra strap of the material um, of the wool so I I do like this one this one is really nice because of uh, the straps it's not mint condition but it's decent so I like it and this small box also let's open it this is original Stein. This is original Stein uh, Force Company Pioneer Battalion number 10. So this is a really nice item dated 1937 and uh, look at that Zur Erinnerung an It means like um, in remembrance of time of my service. Um, big swastika here on the top and pioneers constructed the bridge. So uh, this is really nice motif uh, right before war uh, made it and that's pretty famous manufacturer uh, that made uh, steins like uh, that I really like it. There is no hidden uh, damages or not. There is no hidden defects, so I do like it. So uh, it will go to my uh, special locker for Steins. I already showed you video uh, with collection, and uh, I will uh, film new one soon. So here we can see third. Uh, box and this box will be with uh, long items. Let's open it. So we can see here uh, four items, and I will show it to you one by one. These items uh, came from Germany, straight from Germany. Uh, let's open. There is no newspapers that time, but. Anyway, uh, this item is nice. This is original officer's uh, naval uh, sword. And we can see here original portopy. Uh, original portopy is still here. And uh, look at that. I really like it when uh, you <laughs> when you're sure that it's uh, original, uh, th this nut is original. You know, uh, it made um, in that period uh, when veteran or uh, officer uh, did it so I do like it it's really like in stone it's patinized well it's like a one piece you know uh, what I mean let's open it there is a plain blade uh, for third Reich period uh, and this item is third Reich period item uh, in third Reich period they did not um, etched blades for uh, swords and for daggers uh, a lot. So uh, most of Third Reich period uh, naval swords, officers naval swords, uh, have plain blades. And here we can see manufacturer Herster. Uh, this particular item made uh, by Herster and, and I really like it because uh, that's pretty uh, difficult to find something untouched in uh, untouched in original condition so uh, I do like it it's uh, it have like patina in some uh, places but anyway yeah that's really cool I bought it after I saw some pictures of it and I was kind of uh, nervous because sometimes you can see any hidden de defects, hidden damages uh, after you open the box so there is no any uh, of them. Next one, this is, I can see it clearly, this is uh, officer's sword. Let's open it. You know what is it? This is Höller, model 21. Uh, really nice and rare item, uh, really nice and rare motif uh, of the sword. And uh, we can see it's in really nice condition uh, and uh, in really good finishing with burnishing on um, these details. So I like it. Yeah, I really love it. And it's also in original condition and untouched, so I do uh, like it too. Let's put it here. We are always uh, making nice display, you know. Uh, we just want to receive some more good comments about it. So here, 
We can see last one. Oh no, it's last two. Swords. This is the first one. And second one. And second one is Officer's uh, Ernst Park made uh, sword. And we can see here original condition, original paint on the scabbard. Um, I was also a little bit nervous about this one because uh, paint looks too new for um, on, on pictures. And here we can see uh, that it's original. It's original, just, uh, just factory. Uh, paint. Also, we can see here original portopy uh, here, and just this portopy costs uh, in market probably 100, 150 bucks in that condition. I'd like it. Uh, look at the hilt, because uh, this is a lion head uh, sword, and we can see how it finished here on the top, because uh, it should be a rivet, and then uh, they covered this rivet and uh, make finishing. So this is original condition. You you can see it clearly. And uh, look at the detailing. I really like how, how detailed it is, is it. I like it, yeah. This one is really nice. Blade is also nice. Um, there is no any, any problem with it. It's straight and, and nice. So, three officers sword we can see here. And last one. Last one will be Oh, this is Degen, original Degen, uh, beginning of 19th century. You can see it. Uh, this is Damascus blade, and um, I really, I'm really happy to find it because uh, this is very interesting to find something from beginning of 19th century. Because most of these items already gone, or probably they has been redone, or uh, uh, they just uh, missed. I, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, here we can see original condition of items from that period, and this this is really nice. This is really cool. And actually, here we can see dedication, uh, and um, this is probably uh, probably this is like museum or display piece because uh, we can see here uh, P W Knecht uh, and Zane in Zollingen. So um, produced by Knecht with sons. Uh, in Zollingen, in very famous cold weapon town, you know what I mean. Uh, and also we can see here Damast guaranteed. And this is early type of um, texting, lettering. And this is really high quality uh, item and um, probably it's a display piece or probably this is a, a piece that awarded from uh, this particular uh, producer to another officer we do not know who wore this uh, Degen, but anyway, we can see here traces uh, of wearing and, and this is really cool. I always like items like that in this condition uh, from that period. It's really rare. I mean, it's really, really rare. And also I do like uh, original gilding on it. This is amazing. Actually, it was really expensive piece because it's the uh, most expensive piece on this table uh, but anyway probably it cost more than other <laughs> items but anyway uh, i am happy to to find it and i i'm happy uh, that finally this item uh, in my hands most of these items most of uh, degens um, like this model uh, are like smaller uh, but this one is like big one with uh, light weight and it's straight and that's really cool i'm excited to open it and uh, show it to you i hope you enjoy um, to see it with uh, me guys so i will uh, film uh, one video probably about this one because there is some more information behind this sort and i will share it uh, with you and i also will publish it in my instagram page uh, alex war story i will publish it uh, really uh, soon this is original original scabbard for it and most most of items uh, from that period um, come <laughs> without uh, scabbard. But anyway, here we can see original scabbard in a really nice condition. Um, anyway, we 
almost finished. We opened few boxes with uh, stuff. We found some extra pieces um, and my client will be happy after that. Uh, we found some items I bought, some cheap items, some really expensive stuff, uh, steins and variety of material. I'm happy to show it to you and I'm happy I'm here. I can uh, receive parcels, packages and all stuff and uh, show it to you during my unpacking videos. If you want to contact with me, just text me uh, in uh, Instagram or email me. I will um, leave all contacts uh, below this video. And now, thank you guys for watching this video until the end. Thank you for your comments and for your likes and for uh, your time for watching uh, all this stuff and for your uh, feedback. Have a good one and see you real soon.